What's going on everyone? This is John G, aka Mr. Go In. And this past weekend, I checked out the American Fitness Expo in Houston, Texas. It was a real cool event. They even had, you know, bouncy houses and stuff for the kids. They didn't have that last year. Nice. And then they also had a chance to win 1500. Well, I didn't get a phone call, so I guess I didn't win. It's messed up. So you can see that's Jay Cutler and his ridiculous line. We'll get into the conversation I had with him later in the video. But it was a real cool event. But the first thing I had to check out was this NFL Combine Vertical Leap. So basically they measure your reach and then you jump up and then they measure the height of, you know, how many of those little bars that you hit and then that's your vertical leap. So basically he's telling me I got three shots, no momentum, just two feet, and then jump up. I'm really not a good two foot jumper. I'm more of a one foot jumper. I always have been, but I'm like, let me test it out. So first attempt, 27 inches. Fun fact, do you know who also jumped 27 inches at the NFL Combine? Houston Texans quarterback, Tom Savage. <laughs> Tom Savage is real. One more. Tom Savage is real. So comment down below if you got that reference. Second attempt was actually 28 inches, and then on my third and final attempt, I'm like, oh, 29 inches. So I'm like, okay, 29 inches, is that good, is that bad? And he's like, well, actually 30 is considered athletic. And I'm like, I'm athletic. And he's like, yeah, I know, but 30 is like professional athlete athletic. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get 30. So he's like, try this. You know, get on the balls of your feet, Bend down, load those hamstrings up, and then explode up. Boom, got that 30. So I'm like, yeah, that worked. So if you compare me to Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott, not bad. Except Zeke jumped uh, another two and a half inches, 32 and a half. But we ain't gonna talk about that. In keeping with the NFL Combine theme, we got 225 bench press max reps. You want us to take some of this weight off? You want us to take some of this weight off? Nah, I don't want to take no weight off, Mr. DJ. I'm finna get these weights. I'm a wreck shop. 225? 225? That's breakfast. I eat that for breakfast. Work, 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 eat. No problem, no problem. 225, that's going up easy. I'm talking about easy. Yeah, but at this point I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to feel it because my back started to cramp and that has never happened when I bench press. But, I mean, you know, I didn't even warm up. I didn't do nothing, you know. So, I'm like 16, yeah, that's good. I'm good. Good work, good work, good work. Appreciate it. So, now I'm like, okay, I'm not there to work out. I want to meet some people. So, the person that I actually wanted to see was most excited to see was actually Cassandra Martin, one million followers on Instagram. So why was I excited to see her? Because, you know, first time I saw a picture, you know, small waist and then boom, these guns. And I'm like, dang, look at them arms. And then, you know, like 3D delts. And I'm like, is that serious? I mean, is this Photoshop? What's going on here? But then I saw the videos that she was posting. And I'm like, oh, well, that's why, because she is going in. Look at what the way she's moving. And then the, check this out. Four plates on the T-bar rows, are you serious? Literally made me change up my back routine after seeing this. So I know if I had a girlfriend right now, I would have to justify why I'm following her on Instagram. But it's really not like that. It's I truly am motivated when I see her lifting like that. So ladies, comment down below if you would give your man a hard time for following her on Instagram. Fellas, comment down below if you wouldn't even try it. Trying to just avoid an argument and watch from a distance. So then I was telling her I started doing the T-bar rows because of her and they've really been helping and she's like, oh, you look great. So I was like, oh, I appreciated that. And then I had to get a nice little flex with her check out the guns. So it was real nice meeting her. Good energy. So then they had this 360 selfie cam and they were like, you gotta get on it, but you got to flex. Flex 
So check out my Instagram if you want to see that whole little 360 cam. So then they said, you want to try some protein popcorn? I'm like, what? Y'all are doing the most with this, man. But it was actually pretty freaking good. So then, you know, Michelle Lewin, I got like a selfie with her. But, you know, I also wanted to check out Lauren Drain because she lifts. And ladies, she's got some advice for you. you heard it from her first so go lift don't be afraid of lifting so speaking of cardio this machine looked kind of cardio-ish and then they had this power lifting meet going on also this guy was squatting 750 and it was easy he got it easy I just wouldn't even try that that looks insane then they also were doing this max reps on the curls this guy was going in Thought he was done? Nope. Still going. But you know it's real when you're doing curls and your legs start shaking. That's when you know you are feeling it. Can he bump out one more? Can he get one more? No sir. We ended up doing like 58. So then I had to go chop it up with Jay Cutler, four time Mr. Olympia over here. So last year when I met him he had mentioned you should think about competing. You know you got nice size. So I'm actually telling him, you know, based on that and a lot of other things, I did compete and, you know, the shows came out well. They, they came out really well. I'm just, you know, just talking about competing and bodybuilding and all that. And he's like, man, you got, you know, good size, good job, man. You look good. So then I had to get a nice little flex with Cutler. Look at his arms, man. Dude is still jacked. So then I had to go chop it up with Cali Muscle. What's up, baby? My partner, how you doing? Man, he's got some real good energy. He, you could hear him from across the venue, man. It's real cool, cool. Real, real cool dude. So then we start talking about heavyweight low reps versus a little bit lighter weight, but more reps. And he definitely had an opinion on which one is better. Whoever do the most reps is gonna look the best. You gonna play white man? That, that's my that's philosophy cool. now. Well, Thank you, lot. Right, good work. Okay. Good. Oh, I appreciate that Cali Muscle. Everybody giving me shout outs today. So they also had this, this American Ninja type obstacle course. I didn't do it, but it looked pretty cool. Rob and Dana, I was gonna go, you know, say hi to them, but their line was just ridiculous all day too. And I had to get home, I was meal prepping. If you're in the area next year, definitely wanna check this one out. If you like the video, be sure to hit like on the video and subscribe. Got some good stuff coming up, I'm telling you. Good stuff. Till next time.